Hello everyone, this is Hina. I am welcome to another tutorial of Telenium Marketing and today I am going to create this sort of logo design that you can easily create just by using the little tweaks on custom text. So if you are learning illustrator and you are a beginner and you want to know the basic techniques how can you create a simple logo design based on custom text then you can easily create the sort of uh, structure on any letter or any uh, sort of uh, you know creatives. So it's just all, it's just all about to show you the technique how can you create or customize the custom letters uh, by using a simple uh, you know uh, the concept. So, let us start now first of all what I am going to do I am creating a new document here I am using 1500 and 1000 pixels uh, uh, standard uh, size. So, now press ok here uh, the, of course the CMYK is the color mod and there is a standard resolution is 300 ppi. So, let us start uh, first uh, I am creating a background layer here. So, to create a background layer I am just taking this uh, uh, rectangular tool from here and dragging a simple rectangle like this. So, it is easy to create. Now, I am going to change the color with this default gradient that is white and black and here what I am going to do I will go into the window here going into the gradients and now I am going to change this black to a little bit of grayish color. So, or might be a more whitish side. So, it will be a light gray and white uh, whitish combination. So, you can see that how it would be look like when we are going to create a logo on this. So, now I am going to lock this layer for this uh, I'm go I will go into the object here and here you can choose the lock option and here you can select use uh, the selection mode. So, you can also press control 2 from your keyboard to just lock the layer. So, it will be quite easy for you to walk around or it will not distract you because uh, it will be quite easy to walk around uh, on a you know uh, fixed layer. Now, the things that we are going to start now, I am going to take this uh, custom text uh, from here and custom text layer and here I am just writing letter G in a capital mod. So, scale it up like this. And now, what I am going to do, I will choose the font from here. I want to use the century gothic, yes, this one. And now, I want to turn it to bolder version. So, it will be bold now. And here, you can just convert into outlines. So, it will be quite easy to make it uh, more prominent and just to scale the size and here it will be looking like this now. Now, what I am going to do I am simply going into the object here path offset path and here you can simply define the offset of this. Uh, so, you can preview it how it would be look like. So, I will go into the minus 20 pixels or might be the minus 30 pixels. So, you can see around how it would be look like it all depends upon you how many you know distance so that you uh, how much distance that you want to create between the layers. So, it uh, I'm, I, I will I will also I also want to check for the minus 40 I think minus 40 is good uh, as per my concept design concept. So, I will go with this and now what I am going to do I am simply select both layers together here and go into the window pathfinder and here you can simply minus the front ok. So, you can see that now it will be looking like this ok. So, now the next step that we are going to do here I am simply taking it here and uh, here you can choose the ellipse uh, tool from here and now I am just dragging a simple ellipse like this and here you can take a copy of this by pressing control C and control F and just displace the second layer like this. Now, select both layers together in this way and here you can go into the pathfinder again and this time I will go to the minus front again and uh, now, what we are going to do I will keep it here because I also need it uh, uh, again. Uh, so, here this is just a form of moon that I have just created and now I will simply rotate it by using this tool. So, you can adjust the layers accordingly. 
here I am placing it here and uh, now you can simply create like this and now take a copy of this by pressing control C and control F and again you can just with the same angle you need to keep a focus on the angling. So, I will press adjust a rotation here and now keep again the second copy, third copy and now make a rotation like this and uh, I think I have to move it little uh, closer to the second one and here you can take another copy of this and take the layer like this. Now, rotate it because I want to keep it like this. So, here you can also use the transform option, but I am just showing you the easy way how can you easily do this for this. So, now I am going to create another one simple like this, just like this. If you want to create some little rotation to this design as well, then you can do. So, it will be looking like a loop now. So, here just a little adjustment to the distance and now I think it has been ready. Now, we are going to select all layers together here and again we are going to create this minus front. So, a tool in the pathfinder and here you can see it will be looking like this. Now, what I am going to do I am simply uh, you know going into the gradient mod in the search section, search library you can come over here in the gradient and now you can choose these spectrums. I want to choose this one from here like this. Okay. So, it will be it will turn uh, the you know uh, the colors uh, like this the full color will be looking like this and the, uh, uh, and the stroke color is off at the moment. So, now I want to blend these colors together. So, I am taking this blending mod and now the colors are well blended and here is the simple design that is looking right now. And now what I am going to do I will simply press control G to grab a group all these layers together and here go into the effect uh, and now you can go into the stylize and here you can drop shadow. Preview it how it will be looking like when you are turning the shadow on and press ok. So, it will be looking like this. So, here is the simple design that uh, we have just created uh, by using a little twix uh, um, uh, uh, on letter G which is a custom letter G. So, you can apply it on any top sort of uh, you know uh, logo design or creative say in a heading in a effort to create a strong call of action that will be start with the letter G. So, it all depend upon you whether we are uh, do you want to use these sort of design. So, this is the simple techniques I just want to show you how can you easily create it just by doing a little changes or, or the little tweaks or little customization in a letter. So, thank you so much for watching. If you like my tutorial then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Have a very good day. Uh, bye bye.